All right, guys, so how many of you Model S and X owners have premature inside tire wear on your rear tires? Well, if you do, this video is gonna help you guys out and it's gonna educate you on what you need to do in order to help mitigate that problem. So this specific vehicle is a pre-refresh uh, Model X. And I can give you an example. This owner's tires aren't exactly completely worn out, so they're not cording, but you can see this inside edge tire wear. Now the tire looks great on the outside. Look at this, it looks practically new. But the actual shoulder here is where you run into a problem and you will see a ton of people having wires exposed here and they have no idea that the tires are cording. So you gotta get down there, you gotta look under the car and just inspect your tires. The problem with the Model X is you can't rotate them. So you'll never know. Your tire shop can't rotate the tires, they'll never be able to advise you. So it's important that you guys check every 5,000 miles to see what's going on with your tires. And, and we do recommend getting alignments done annually, especially if you're spending this much money on tires. All right, now for the solution. This is the factory camber arm, okay? This camber arm, it's not even an adjustable arm, but it's this upper arm, it's located right here. It's centrally located on the knuckle, okay? We've already installed the aftermarket part, but it goes here. Now, this arm is a fixed length, okay? So you cannot correct this angle. This actually fixes the, this would fix the tilt of the tire. So from the factory, if you set your car to low, this thing is gonna be cambered like this. And we do recommend setting it default to low so your height doesn't change. Well, what this arm, well, what this arm does is it sits in here, it's not adjustable, so we can't fix the angle of this tire. The solution is this intuitive, upper arm. It's an adjustable rear camber arm. And because it's threaded here, we can adjust the length of this arm. Okay. So we can lengthen this arm to fix the tilt in the tire. So the tires wear evenly. Now, the reason we use intuitive is because they are very well thought out. A lot of companies, the cheaper ones, they'll put this adjuster either on the knuckle side, or some of them will even put it in the middle. Well, accessing that gets to be a bit cumbersome and you might have to do the alignment with the wheel off. Now, if you have air suspension, that's gonna make it extremely difficult to get an accurate alignment for your alignment guy because doing wheel off adjustments with air suspension, it, it's just very complicated. So what I like about Intuitive is you can actually do the alignments with the wheel on. They actually supply you with the crow's foot now these alignments are not cheap because they are time consuming and they are cumbersome. It's definitely not one of our favorite vehicles to do alignments on, but as you can see here, okay, this one's already installed. You have the adjuster over here and you can access this adjuster with an extension and a ratchet coming from the bottom. You put the crow's foot on there and you can rotate this to adjust the length. If the adjustment is on the knuckle side over here, you have no way to access it from underneath the car or it'd be extremely difficult. I personally don't know how you'd do it. So that's why we really like the intuitive arm. Now, you do run into situations where you run out of toe adjustment, factory toe adjustment to get your camera into spec where you'd want it to be. And the reason for that is this is a factory toe adjustment. It sits on this arm. This arm is also a fixed length. This bolt is right here. The bolt is an offset bolt. It's an eccentric bolt. It has a cam and a lobe on it. So when you do the alignment and you rotate this, it will push the arm in or out to adjust toe. Well, sometimes there's not enough movement in this in order to get the toe into spec. So Intuitive produces this adjustable toe arm. So check this out. All right, <clears throat> so now what Intuitive does is they actually give you lockouts. So these squares, these washers, square washers essentially sit in the subframe. You pull this bolt out and you replace it with their supplied bolt. And that way this locks in place. It will not shift or move on you. If you hit a big bump or anything happens, all the adjustments are done on this adjustable toe arm. This is a much stronger piece. We have commonly seen that this lattice aluminum arm bends over time. It will fatigue. So, if you have an older vehicle with a lot of miles, I would recommend just replacing the tarm as well. And that way you can guarantee that your camber will get into spec, your toe will get into spec, and you won't have to buy these super expensive tires every 10,000 or so miles. 
So that's what I got for you guys. I hope this was informative. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check out our Patreon account. It's patreon.com forward slash devcentric. It's five bucks a month. Just shows us a token of your appreciation for what we do for you. If you guys are interested in these products, we have them in the description below. So click on that link to zevcentric.com. These intuitive arms, they do ship for free and they do run out really, really fast because this is just something that almost every Model S and X has to do, especially if you have staggered setups from the factory. Thanks guys. We appreciate you and we'll catch you on the next one.